they were going to be doing a little charity. And this is for children, okay? Abandoned children. So we got some diapers here. A couple packs, actually. Come be close and have a look at this. Uh, pushing detergent. So we're going there now and we're going to be showing you around and explaining to you a couple things, specifically what happened to these kids and why they ended up in the place where they're at. So this should be very insightful and you should see a different side of the world, especially a different side of us in San So let's go. So we're going to a children's shelter. What happened there is actually quite sad. And the person who was filming this video, her name is Jessica, and she helped us find this place. And we were calling like a uh, few places, and we found this place. This was very appealing because the people, I mean, the children that ended up there, they're actually abandoned children. So they came from families, you know, they were like into drugs, into like serious crimes, and so the children ended up at this shelter where they're not being taken care of. And just to put this a little bit in perspective, to give you guys like a better understanding of what kind of a difference that is in childhood. Think about a child growing up without a parent or without two parents. Something that is unimaginable to most of us who grew up in a relatively healthy, normal environment with two parents. And our parents are not perfect, they're not can tell tons of stories of child abuse and not getting the emotional, mental, spiritual support that we should have gotten or that we would have wished to have gotten. However, if you put this in perspective and compare yourself to children that grew up, for instance, here in Paraguay, right? We're filming this from Paraguay. So the children that grew up in an environment where everything is like foreign to them, you know, I think that takes a lot more, especially once you are grown up, to settle with this because, you know, this has for sure an impact on your psychology. You know, there's nothing more to be said here. You can't argue over that. And so I feel like children like this, and this is not just uniquely Paraguayan, you know, this problem is not uniquely Paraguayan. This problem exists everywhere. You know, even in like Scandinavia or even in America, they're taking children away from parents where the kids were just in a very like hostile environment, you know, where the parents did not provide what they should have provided. And this is not just finances, you know, we're not just talking about money, we're talking about everyday stuff. And so we're doing this for a number of reasons, okay, because I feel like there needs to be more of that, of that like contribution arm of that charitable arm, which is unfortunately very unheard of these days because a lot of people, a lot of businesses, they're all about, yeah, let's make money, you know, let's, let's focus on companies' profits, and that's important, you know, you've got to make sure that the business is profitable, I think that's very important, but on the other hand, that's more like, you know, if you're making all this money, then what's the point if you can't give it away, at least part of it, so... Jessica and I, she's filming this video. We're going to be doing this now multiple times a month, I think. And hopefully we're going to be going into new areas and new homes and shelters where we can hopefully meet new people and hear their stories. Or the stories of, you know, the people who are, like, taking care of these children, you know, because the children aren't able to talk about it yet. Eventually they will be, but, you know, if you're taken, if you're being taken away from your parents from your like you know nest at such a young age I mean it must just be a very hard experience I can imagine and for myself I'm not coming from like the best of childhoods either you know I'm coming from a childhood where emotional mental and spiritual support was not provided especially not by my father my mother was actually a lot better however these children are dealing with a whole other you know problem with a whole other lack that so many of us are never going to have to go through. So all I'm trying to say is if you were born in a Western country and you were born into wealth and you were born into like just 
comfort, you know, appreciate that because this is not a given. It's not a given. You're locked out. It's a fluke. You cannot choose your genetics. You cannot choose your parents. I mean, this is a complete fluke. Whether you grew up in Ohio, in a very wealthy neighborhood, or you had the opportunity to meet wealthy people from a very early age on, and that's because you prospered, or you were born in the slums of Paraguay, or you were born into a family where like drug usage was very common, there's nothing you can do about that. So just be grateful, and now we're going to show you the place. This was pretty quick. We donated the diapers and some other stuff. However, what's kind of surprising is that you can't really talk to the children. And the lady, the director told us that the children are protected. The law does not permit visitors or donators to talk to the children. I guess that's kind of similar in America in certain places. It would just be nice to do that too. Anyway, this is the start of something great. This is the start of a new era. And if you guys want any more videos on Paraguay, especially on when we're doing charity in Paraguay, we're gonna be recording this. So make sure you subscribe to the channel.